Chris, thank you. Going green thanks to a $4 million grant, the Mass Transit Authority serving parts of Genesee County is welcoming two hydrogen fuel cell buses. TV 5 Zane O'Mare joins us live from Flint with more on how the MTA plans to cut emissions with these new buses. Zane. The next time you take the bus here in Flint, you may be riding one of the two new zero emission buses that officials say are the future of transportation. When we as an organization can make a difference in the air quality by what we do and the amount of service we put on the street, it means an awful lot. It's a greener way to get where you need to go. The Flint Mass Transportation Authority unveiling its new hydrogen cell buses. We are willing to try these things out. We know the hydrogen's been a, a known winner for us. The electric vehicles is new, but we also want to try it. According to the MTA, the zero emission buses will replace diesel buses that have reached the end of their lifespan, opting for a more environmentally friendly way to fuel the vehicles. One benefit of having those buses in communities, we no longer are going to have gas. The other buses lower maintenance on vehicles. The other buses it teaches our kids about electricity. And you get a chance to see how our new vehicles are coming about and how our companies are changing because they're recognizing the need for a clean energy atmosphere. The federal government granting more than $4.7 million to the MTA to purchase five electric vehicles, install charging stations, and support Project Zero. Consumers Energy is also partnering with the MTA to power the buses and donate an additional vehicle. We've been able to provide rebates and certain for certain customers we've been able to provide grants which have allowed the electric vehicle to get um, to that business at the same time we've helped out with infrastructure upgrades and allowing them to install chargers mass transportation authority ceo edgar benning says the long-term goal is to eventually have an all alternative fuel fleet serving residents right here in genesee county it really all comes back to one one thing taking care of the community and doing it in a very responsible way in addition to being more environmentally friendly, Benning says the new buses are also more cost effective. He says in the five years since the MTA switched to its zero emissions goal, they've saved about $4.5 million, allowing them to add services instead of spending that money on fuel. Reporting live in Flint, Zane O'Mare, WNEM TV5.